If you want a simple, easy method for smoking a beef brisket, this video is for you. There are a lot of ways to smoke a beef brisket and there are a lot of different seasonings, techniques, and smoke profiles. But that's not what I'm doing today. What I'm doing today is the very simple, basic beef brisket that anybody can follow. So if this is your first time smoking a beef brisket or if you're just looking for a much simpler and faster cook when you want to smoke a beef brisket, I think I got what you're looking for. First thing you do is get yourself a beef brisket. Now this is an 8.4 pound brisket. The secret to this, keeping it simple and fast, is to get a piece that's not really that big. The flavor is still going to be there, but it's going to be a much faster cook. Get that guy rinsed off and over to your cutting board for prep. And what I'm doing here is I'm just trimming off the fat. You don't want to trim off all the fat because you do want the flavor, but you don't want these big gobs of fat. So I'm going to trim off all the giant gobs of fat and just leave the marbling and some of the surface fat there. If you leave too much fat on, you'll get big chunks of fat whenever you finish this cook, and that's just no, no good. It's coarse kosher salt, and then coarse black pepper, and then coarse garlic. Your basic SPG for this, these briskets have great flavor, so you don't have to do these things too heavy with the seasoning. But just make sure that you get all this stuff on and prepping everything the night before. Turn this bad boy over, get him onto his prep tray for the night, and do the same seasonings on the other side. I'm going to give this an injection. This is just beef broth. This is just to add a little bit more moisture and a little bit more flavor to the cook. You can complicate this and add different kinds of injections, but the point of this is to show you how you can cook this really simple and not have to deal with a lot of prep. Once it's all injected, get this thing wrapped up in some saran wrap nice and tight. You will get fluid that will leak out as this thing brines overnight. Get that sealed up nice and tight. Get it in the fridge. Next morning, you're going to wake up and get the smoker going. I am using royal oak lump charcoal. When I do these long cooks, a lot of times I will use charcoal briquettes because they do just cook longer. Um, the, the royal oak does burn a little bit hotter, but the flavor of it is just can't be beat compared to briquettes. I'm going to start off with one full chimney. I'll add as needed. Get your water pan filled up. This adds moisture to the smoke chamber, also acts as a heat sink so that you don't lose a lot of temperature whenever you open the door. I am using a regular oven thermometer as a backup. I'm also using a wireless probe thermometer, and I'll be using the meter thermometer as well. All these extra thermometers aren't necessary, but I have them, so I use them. Get that first basket in there. I usually top that off with a little bit of charcoal as well. But in this case, I'm just going to go straight in with the charcoal that was on fire from the chimney. Let that stabilize just a little bit, close the vents up, and get a couple pieces of hickory in there. Use a hickory because this is a long cook, so you don't want to use super strong smoke. Clean your grates up now that your smoker's up to temperature. I like a nice strong bark on mine, so I will add a second light coating of Montreal steak seasoning. Again, I'm using pre-prepped seasoning mixtures because it makes it easy. You don't spend a lot of time setting up your seasonings for this cook. And because I can use the meter probe and the wireless probe, I'm going to put one on each side of this brisket. I cook my briskets fat side up. It's always worked for me. Temperature on this, you're shooting for about 250. You don't have to get too wrapped around the axle on fluctuations. 225 to 275 is a solid range. After that, you just let it cook. Now what you're looking for is you want that nice thin blue smoke. You don't want heavy white smoke. It'll add a bad flavor to it if you cook with heavy white smoke for a long period of time. We are at two hours in, and this is a good time to go ahead and rotate it. All you're doing in between these steps is just maintaining the fire, adding some wood chunks here and there, and making sure that the temperature's good. After the rotation, I get my probes back in, get this thing closed back up, add a little bit more wood chunks to the fire to get the smoke going again, and let her cook. The key to this brisket is to just let it cook. You're only really going to manipulate it a couple times to rotate it, and then later on we're going to wrap it, but you just let it cook. So we are now three hours into the cook and we've reached 160 degrees throughout. So now it's time to wrap it. I'm wrapping this up in some heavy duty foil 
and I'm going to add a little bit more beef broth just for some flavor and to keep this thing nice and moist. Wrap it up tight, get it back on the smoker. Get the probes put back in so we can continue to monitor our temperature. This is a really good time to add more charcoal. Normally when I add charcoal to the basket like this, I leave it the smoke, the firebox door open for a while until that white smoke dissipates. But with this being wrapped up, it doesn't matter. That heavy white smoke isn't gonna to touch the meat. Now we are at five hours total in this cook. The temperature is 205 throughout. We're gonna pull this brisket off and man, does it smell good. Open the foil up for about 15 minutes so that it will stop cooking. Then I'm gonna wrap it up again tightly to keep the juice in and let it rest. This was a small cut, so it only rested for another 15 minutes or so. If you're cooking a much bigger brisket, you have to let it rest longer, sometimes up to an hour. To make sure that this thing turns out perfect, like you see here, make sure you hit that like button. Helps out my videos and helps me on my YouTube channel. And that's it guys, simple smoked beef brisket. Enjoy.